Good afternoon, Beverly, and welcome to the 70th annual Holiday Parade. The 70th annual? 70th annual, exactly Isn't right. Isn't that exciting? It's beyond exciting, I and know. we're going to talk a lot about that here this morning or this afternoon. Yes. I'm going to serve as your co-host today. My name is Al Temkin. And I'm Andy Friedman, and I'm also your other co-host. That's why there's two co-hosts. <laughs> So this, yeah, this, uh, this is the 70th annual holiday parade. We, we think, and I don't want to be quoted, but we, we think that this is the oldest uh, of a city of our size in the country. As far as we can tell. Right. Yeah. Right. The information that we have. So uh, it's going to be fun. And this year's parade, uh, needless to say, there's, there's some differences than, 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 than has been in the past, um, including a new parade route. This yes, year. a new parade route this year going from Beverly High School. Exactly, yep. Yep. Yeah, it's coming down from Beverly High School. It'll come down Cabot Street. Uh, we'll take a right on Broadway right here and go down to the Beverly Depot, which is where the parade will end. And uh, so a little bit different this year. It's not the only reason that it's a special um, parade this year because we have a very special Grand Marshal this year. We really do. We, we really do. Uh, uh, Grand Marshal, as you all know, is Charlie Bucci. Uh, the Bucci family has been involved in this parade for all 70 years. Is that incredible? It's just amazing. I, I don't think that there's another family could say I, that. I'm quite sure of that. And they're just wonderful people. And uh, Charlie is the patriarch of the family. And uh, he'll be sitting on the back of a convertible today as our Grand Marshal. He will be uh, greeted when he gets here to the viewing stand by the yes. mayor. I know. It's very exciting. Yeah. It's, yes. Yeah. The mayor will provide him with a proclamation from the city council. And um, and somebody said something about a surprise visit uh, from somebody, that, but they didn't tell us who it is. So, yeah, mm. it's kind of a challenging question. But uh, We're going to try is, to figure that out over the next. Will, whoever it is will be here. I have to wave to my granddaughter. <laughs> pardon me. <laughs> She's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> so um, somebody's proud. So somebody is very proud. <laughs> yes. No. So it's it's we we are expecting a special visitor this year, and we'll try to all figure out who that could possibly be um, by the end of the parade. Well, if we don't figure wink, it out by wink, then, then wink wink. Then uh, yeah. <laughs> if we don't figure it out by then, then we need to get fired and need to bring other people in here. <laughs> So why don't we, uh, why don't we yeah. kind of read what's going let's, on? Let's um, say thank you to our sponsors. Let's do that. Should we do that? Sure. So uh, first I would like to say thank you to the Temkin Financial Group, Beverly Bank, thank you very much, Salem Five, Minuteman Press, Institution for Savings, Michaud Mitsubishi, Beverly Rotary Club, uh, North Shore is 104.9. Thank you very much. First Baptist Church in Beverly, right down the street here. And Wayside Trailers. Exactly. And also, I want to thank the sponsors as well. Without them, we most likely would not be this sitting not here right exactly now. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, so exactly we, right. we appreciate their sponsorship very much. We also want to thank a few other people here. Uh, beginning as we, as we hold the papers yeah, down. We're it's holding the table windy. down at this point. <laughs> it's a little windy. Uh, yeah, go ahead. So we want to we want to thank uh, particularly our parade committee. We actually started working on this parade in March of two th of this of this year. So there has been several meetings, a lot of people doing good work. But I, I do want to point out a couple of people in particular, and I want to thank uh, John Kenny. John is a good friend of mine. Uh, who really put a lot of time and effort into automating this parade. Uh, we have people registering on our website now. Right. We have contact information. It's never been um, easier. It's, 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 next year it's so going to be so you. simple. Next oh. year it will be a 10-minute meeting and we'll be good to go. So if you're interested in having a float next year, it's really easy. Just visit the website. Just go right on BeverlyHolidayParade.org and all the information that you need is there. That's great. So thank you, John Kenny. I also want to thank Steve Crowley. Steve has been involved with this thing for years. And uh, Steve handles all of the staging that's going on at the high school right now. That's a big job. Uh, it's a big job. So get, getting big everybody out on applause time. for him. Thank Absolutely. you so much. He's done just a great job. I also want to shout out to Kevin Harutunian. Um, Kevin served in our committee and has just been a, a real help to us in, in working out some of the things, some of the kinks and some of the things that we had to work with 
uh, for this year. So those three people, John Kenny, Steve Crowley, and Kevin Haratunian, thank you so much for thank all of you. your work. Um, I also want to thank Creative Studio, Lauren Poussad. Lauren has been such a huge help. Again, as I mentioned, we have our own website right now, beverlyholidayparade.org. We have a Facebook page, which has been liked by many. We have, we've had all kinds of different social media programs going on, um, including some great pictures of the Bucci family, by the way. That's right. On the website. Incredible. So it really is. So, Lauren, I just can't thank you enough Hats for the work off, that you did. but I'm not did. taking my hand off. I get it. I get it. So thanks, Lauren Poussad. <laughs> Bevcam, we certainly want to thank. Bevcam thank is here you, Bev every Cam. year. They always do a great job. And this will be something that all of us can watch as often as we wish for the next couple of months or so. So thank you so much, Bevcam. I also want to uh, do a shout-out to Chief Lelacher, uh, the Chief of Police here in Beverly. I had to meet with him a couple of times in preparation for this. And uh, here's a guy who's not from the area, frankly, but is doing a wonderful job with, with our police department, keeping us safe. But he was such a pleasure to work with, a real gentleman, uh, and very interested in helping us do whatever it takes to have a really good day. A true public servant. It really is. So I really appreciate, Chief, your, your help. I also want to um, thank Bill Burke, our, our Director of Transportation here in Beverly. Bill uh, is helping us to, uh, to have buses down at the Beverly Depot busing everybody back to the high school so they can get their rides and get home safely. So that's all as a result of Bill Burke and the great work Thank that he's you, doing. Thank you, Bill. And then uh, some, we have, we've got a couple of collections going on here today. Yes. Um, really important. Yeah, it really is important. And, and one of the organizations that we're collecting for is Family Promise. Uh, Family Promise is an organization that, that really helps and works with the homeless people, people having a challenging time. And they do it in a very dignified manner. And families are hosted by at different churches in the area where they sleep. Um, they go to work every day. The kids stay in the school system that they've been in for some time. Which is the most important thing. Of course and it is. Of course it is. It's so wonderful. What a wonderful organization. They really they are. They do so much. So much um, good stuff. Yeah, yeah, so much good stuff. Yeah, their executive director is Russ Queen. He's a, he's a oh, terrific incredible. guy. Yeah, incredible. Yeah, he's really a good guy. So... So just a great organization, and there's also going to be some, some um, food uh, donations, f which will go to bootstraps. In fact, the First Baptist Church does this every year at this parade, and uh, all of the food donations will go to bootstraps uh, for this year's, uh, for this, for, for this yes. year. Yes, and you, you know, they've been doing it for so many years, this parade, and everybody knows that big mac and cheese oh, yeah. float. It's so there every year. if you, yeah. you know come down to the parade you bring some canned goods you're you can donate it right here right on the street and it, again it goes to bootstraps which uh, and we'll talk more about them as they come through the parade on their uh, on their float um, one of the newcomers to this year's parade is um, the uh, Beverly Human Rights Committee uh, we'll talk a little more about them as they come through but I do want to mention that they are hosting uh, at the Cabot Cinema today a free coffee and pastry reception at 3 o'clock. Again, at the Cabot today, 3 o'clock, free coffee and pastry. Um, so, and again, it's supported by the Beverly's Human Rights Committee and several local organizations. You're invited to learn more about the human rights progress and activities in our community. So head down to the Cabot about 3 o'clock today, and, and uh, you'll, you'll be greeted by the Human yes, Rights Committee. Yes, you'll see them. They have, they'll be walking in the parade, too. And, yes. and it's really um, interesting to know that Many people maybe didn't know that we had a human rights committee uh, yeah, here, uh, well, right I, here in Beverly. I believe it's fairly new. I, I, don't, I think I believe yeah. so too. Yeah, I don't. Yes. I don't think that's something that we've had for a while. So, uh, but it's it's a great. You, we'll we'll talk about it as they come through. It's really a, what they're doing is wonderful. It's really good stuff, and uh, and it's something that you might want to learn more about. And you can start that today at three o'clock at the cabin. So, a couple of other things I, I think we should mention. Um, a couple of additions this year. Um, uh, yeah. The mayor, additions. Mayor Mike Cahill, will present Charlie Bucci, our Grand Marshal, uh, with a proclamation. Now, I, I don't know that we've ever done that, but um, it, it may have been something that was done some years ago. Um, but that's going to be done today. And then uh, Mayor Cahill will present, will present our special visitor with the key to the city. Uh now, that might mean that this special visitor will need that key to get into everybody's houses <laughs> at, a particular, at a particular night. Especially so, if you don't have a chimney. 
Yeah, especially if you don't have a chair. It's coming right through the front door. So <laughs> come right through the front door. So leave those milk and cookies out um, right by the door. <laughs> so exactly. So um, so those are two new additions. Years ago, in fact, you'll see if you check out the website, again, BeverlyHolidayParade.org, uh, pictures of the key being presented uh, by the then mayor, I and mean, this goes back many, many years. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. kind of interesting yeah. to see some of those older pictures. Um, so that's going on. We've got some new additions in terms of people marching in the parade, yeah. having floats in the parade, yeah. having vehicles in the parade. There's a bunch of uh, uh, different additions that we're not going to get into right now, but we certainly <laughs> will as they come up. Well, we have uh, we have all your old favorites and some new ones too. Exactly right, and 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 we're looking to you know to expand even further in future years, right? Yes. I mean, we, we have some ideas. We huh? have some thoughts, and, and <laughs> we're hoping that you do too. Yeah. Uh, so those of you that might uh, want to participate next year with a float or with a uh, with marchers or a band or whatever, we certainly welcome that opportunity. And again, all you need to do is go on our website. Registration form is there. Let us know what your thoughts are, or at least contact us through the website, and we'll be happy to chat yep. with you about about some possibilities. Yeah, so, I think it's it's the parade is so much more richer if the community participates. Of course it is. Of course it is. One of the things that we will see in the future is uh, we'll see some some of the uh, uniqueness of the city of Beverly. Uh, in our parade, and we were we were hoping to get that accomplished this year, but we just we weren't able to get that done. But our hope is in the future that we will see be seeing some of that, and that's kind of kind of cool. I mean, this is a Beverly parade. It'd be kind of cool to see some of the uniqueness of our city and some. And of the it differences. really is. I mean, it's 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 one of the most diverse, interesting, unique cities that I've ever lived in. I've lived all over the country. I'm a California girl, as you know. Yeah. So this weather is a bit much for yeah. me right now. It's a bit now. much for me. But uh, uh, the mayor, <laughs> what did the mayor say? <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Um, so we're, we're waiting for um, the parade to catch up to us. Yeah, it should it's, be coming along any, any time now. Now, I got to say that this crowd is really incredible. I mean, if we could get um, some footage of this crowd look I yeah mean, we got a big crowd here. we got a big crowd here today yep. despite the fact that it's uh a little bit windy a little bit chilly um the patriots game is probably going to start soon but yep. but uh we have um just a really incredible crowd i mean jet three generations four generations right here on the side of the road here. It really is. It's, it's always great. And, and, and uh, un unfortunately, I guess the past couple of years, we have not seen this crowd. That's true. So That's I guess true. I guess our social media The word work, is getting out. The word is getting Good out. Job. Good, yep. job. Yep. Good job. Good job. Good job. All of that is just great. So it's, yeah, word's out, and people are here, and people are enjoying it. And it's such a wonderful community event. I mean, there's kids all over the street here now. I love it. Uh, I it love just it. is great. It's just a great I've way to kind of kick off the kids. holidays. Since they were little, now you've got grandkids yep. coming. Yep, my granddaughter is here with my son-in-law, uh, my son-in-law Jesse. One call, junk call. I have to throw out a shout out to his, him and his company. But there we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's all. Uh, it's just. It's just great. And, uh, and 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 again, I think bringing in, bringing back, I should say, the participation of the mayor. Uh, yeah, that's it's, great. It's kind of cool. He certainly is very popular in the city yes, of Beverly. And, yes, yes. Um, so it's, it's, it's just a nice addition uh, to be able well, to do that. Well, that's the thing about Beverly, right? You know, that, that our community is so warm and, and tight-knit that, that many people can just greet the mayor on the street. He's well, he's a very sociable guy. He's, he's, he's easy to talk guy. to. So I, I think that's, that's kind of kind of yeah. cool. But, you know... I'm really glad you said that, Andy. Yeah. Uh, you know, Beverly is a very unique community. Now, I witnessed that the other night. I attended the city council meeting um, to support the Harbor Light Community Partners project on the at the corner of Sohair and Toza Road. Right. Um, correct. Correct. So, uh, uh, the uh, uh, Harbor Light Community Partners wants to build uh, 75 units of, of affordable housing for people who are having some challenges and for people who could potentially be or were homeless. This is a wonderful project for the city of Beverly and is being greeted extremely well by some of the it's surrounding amazing. communities. But yeah. what's interesting is Andrew DeFranza is the executive director of Havilite Community Partners and he talks about a lot when he goes to different communities to, to try and 
uh, to try and help people understand what community partner uh, hobbleite is all yes, about right. um, he gets hit with a uh, with a ton of people who are not interested yeah in the beverly city council chamber is the other night there was probably 150 people there all it was bursting at the seams all of showing all support for this project uh, it just shows in fact um and Councillor Hausman said yes. the, the number of people in this room, I'm not quoting him, but something to this effect, yeah. the number of people in this room shows the uniqueness of our city of yes. Beverly, people coming out to support a project that's in the city's best interest, but most importantly, in these families' best interest. Oh, it's incredible. Uh, I mean, it's such a huge problem all over the country. It is. And it is. we, you know, we have the energy and the human capital, if you will, to get some of these things done, to solve some of these problems. And, and I think it's just amazing. And Well said. Well, yeah. well said. I'm starting to hear some sirens, so we're gonna, the parade's going to reach us really soon. Yep. Really, really soon. I'm yep. really excited. Well, that's a good thing. And, and you'll see our Grand Marshal, and you'll see the Bucci family float, which is actually will kick off the parade just behind some of these uh, fire trucks, the fire et trucks and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm really, I'm really glad that we are honoring this family because they probably they've been doing this at really out of the kindness of their heart. Yep. And, well deserved. Um, the, yeah, it's well deserved recognition, and and um, it might not be something that people think of right off the top of the head is 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 really important and really um, a wonderful thing to do. Um, but um, I'm glad we I'm glad we're doing it. Absolutely, and again, it's so well deserved. Uh, you know, anybody who does anything for 70 years, I, <laughs> I would I would suggest to you, unless it's illegal, deserves some form of recognition. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so, so that's incredible. Yeah, really. it really, really is. Incredible. And we had actually had a member of the family on the committee, Joyce Frizziello. Oh, uh, yeah, who served on our committee and and was very very helpful in in making this whole parade happen today. So. So we also want to thank and shout out to uh, to Joyce Frizziello. Um, yeah. So yeah. So it's all it's all good. We're we're good to go here. The parade, I'm sure, has kicked off. Uh, down the street, we're the we're street. towards the end of the street. It's just like the Macy's parade where they have my my family is trying to distract me right now. They're right over there. Hello. <laughs> You know, all these family members can be. They walk by. They they're yelling there's things at us. There's the next uh, yeah. star of stage and screen. Right Absolutely, here. <laughs> yeah. Not the next. She actually is a current star right, of that's stage right. and screen. That's she's right. she's doing a wonderful, wonderful, oh, very talented, you. very thank talented you, thank young you, lady. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yes. Anyway, so back to the parade. So back to the parade. Yeah. Enough about your you family. You know, Al and I have a lot of fun. <laughs> How many years have we done this, Al? Is this our fourth year doing this, or fifth year? Yeah, I, yeah, I would Something say like I that? would say at least that. We yeah. have so much fun do have doing this yeah. together, yeah. and I'm I'm very grateful for you being my co-host. Well, I'm very grateful for you being my co-host, and uh, in addition to being this beautiful, she is also <laughs> like wicked smart. <laughs> So, you know, we sit down and we go over this, this, this the parade, uh, you know, who's marching when, who's going to say what, and she just kind of does it all and does her thing and kind of pushes me out of the this way, and it's perfect. Thing. This is my thing. It's this just is perfect. My thing. Little two babies. <laughs> oh, yeah. twins, twins, twins. Okay, now we're seeing Al's grandchildren. Yeah, no, 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 that's not my grandchildren. Oh, that's not your no. grandchildren. Oh, no. I thought those were your grandchildren. No, no, no. no. I'm sorry. No. Um, yeah, so we have uh, the, the parades on its way. Can hear the sirens. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're oh, I was up, so. saying that this is like the Macy's parade, where it starts way down at one end. Yeah. And then while the other the the hosts like Matt, you're Matt Lauer. Yep. And I don't yep. know the other woman's name. I don't either. And I don't know. was it Katie Kirk at one time? Uh, can I be Katie Kirk? You can and, be. And and they are doing stuff down here, but you're the parade is. You're more attractive than Katie Kirk. <laughs> <coughs> thank you. Thank you. You're thank welcome. You. But. Uh, yeah, so this is great, and, and once again, we want to. Bev Cam always does a great job with this, with this parade, and 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 you know they they. We love the, Bev Cam. We do. Let, can, let me just say a few words about Bev Cam. If you don't know, those of you viewing this right now, that if you live in Beverly or or in some surrounding towns, you can come in, you can volunteer, you can learn how to to work the cameras, you can learn how to. Uh, direct to tech direct you can make your own shows you can make documentaries you can have a weekly show a monthly show um, it is a resource like no other and the staff at BevCam are so helpful if you don't if you have never 
run a camera before or have run um, or have worked uh, editing uh, equipment before, these guys will help you. They are so helpful and they are the greatest. And we have this resource in Beverly and it is open to everyone. Yep. So come on down and just at least check out what we do down there at BevCam. You will be amazed and shocked and overjoyed. I guarantee you. Yeah, that's very well said. And, 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 you know, they're a very welcoming group of people who know what they're doing. They really so. know what they're doing. And this yeah. stuff is state of the art, cutting edge. Yeah, absolutely. This now, you, is you not, have a show on Bev Camp, don't you? Um, I don't have one currently, but I had a show. I had a movie review show. Oh, that's right. I remember that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm doing this right now. <laughs> for Bev Camp, right? So yes. I yes. have this show. That you have this show. Yeah, this is the Andy Friedman show. Yes, <laughs> yes. But uh, yeah, so it's uh, so it's all good. Those sirens are coming up. They're coming quickly behind us now. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So um, those of you who are at home who couldn't get out here because it was um, either too far or too cold or you had something else to do, you can uh, watch this anytime because not only do we have channel. Eight for Bev for BevCam channel twenty two, which is the high school channel. The high school kids are doing incredible things, yeah. and we have um, channel ninety nine, which is has all the government um, shows or or displays all the government events that are going on. For instance, the city council meetings and right. stuff like yeah. that. So. Yep. Not only can you watch it on those channels, but you can also watch it on our YouTube channel. Um, go to BevCam.org, and you can um, go to the YouTube channel and see any show you like. Exactly, and, and there's a lot to see. Then I mean, there's, there's a, a lot there's to a see. There's a lot, lot of variety. But getting back to what you said earlier, I think it's kind of cool in the sense that if you have a thought or an idea and you want to get it out there to people, BevCam is a great place to go and, and, try, and, and try and do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, so, the, and, and there's so much help. So don't feel intimidated. There's no reason to feel intimidated because exactly. they will show you what to do. And they're wonderful. And yeah. they're really nice. I actually do miss <laughs> doing the, the, the uh, election oh, nights. Oh, the election. Oh, well, Remember we'll we do that? next year. We, I hope so. Andy and we I, also do. <laughs> yeah. Andy and I for years did election night, election results and, and stuff. And uh, it, it, it really was a lot of fun because it's we got a chance fun. to chat a little it's bit. A we had some of the winners of the election come into the BevCam. That's we right. talked with them. Right. It was actually a lot of fun. It yeah. was, it was kind of neat. And, and this year we did not do that. But I'm, I'm hoping that we get back to that at some point because I thought I it was. We, I, I think thought we it was will. good. And I thought it was good for the city as well. It's great for the city. I mean, that's how you get your election results. You don't have to wait till the next day. Well, we do it live. Yeah, well, we do it live. <laughs> However. If you remember the last one that we did, we had some bad information. We had we, some bad information. Well, we had to wait until the, a couple of the winners came to us to be interviewed to tell us who won, because <laughs> we, we didn't know. That will not so, happen again. I promise well, you. Well, I hope you're it's right. All, it's comedy. It's yeah, comedy. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it was. It was a lot of fun. But, uh, but you know, that's the one thing about our city. It's uh, it's so well run. It's I very know, well it managed. Is, it is. Um, you know, uh, I think Mayor Cahill's doing a wonderful job. and That's great. Uh, his chief of staff, Kevin Havertunian, who I mentioned earlier, yes, we, we right, did right. a lot of work with for this parade. Just a bright, energetic, you know, smart kid um, who's really, we're very lucky to have. Can I just give another shout out to the parade committee? Because this is not a small job. This is not a small job. And oh. and you you folks have done a really wonderful job this year. I say you folks because this guy was very involved in that. Well, thank you for saying that. Yeah, uh, but, and I'm really impressed. But, but you know, okay. the, the, the one, somebody once said that it takes a village, and it does. It, you know, it this really was, does. We had a group of people sitting around a table last March, this past March, who started thinking about this. We, we met again a couple more times yeah. and uh, put yeah. it all together, but it's, it's the result of a group of people uh, putting their thoughts together, putting their creativity together, uh, and a group of people who are totally committed and dedicated and to this parade yeah. and to the city of Beverly. And wow. Yeah. Wow. So wow. it was, I it was think, just great. I think you uh, you folks at home and all these people out here on the street are going to be really impressed. It is going to be an impressive campaign this yeah. year. and uh, A parade, I should say. And, and, yeah, campaign. <laughs> yes, that's yeah, it. I'm, I'm not running for anything, no. so I just want to make that very clear. But, He's mayor but, of the uh, parade. you mayor of the parade. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, but no, it is. It's going to be different. It's going to be exciting, and 
Um, the fact that we're ending here at the Beverly Depot, I think, was a, is, 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 is the right thing idea. for us to do. Great idea. Uh, for some reason, in years past, even though the parade came down Cabot and went back up Rantoul Street, most of the people came We're to Cabot Street. We're here at Cabot yeah. Street, so yeah. yeah, and then this way everybody can can all be together. Exactly right. It's less so spread out. It so really is. Really it's like just, that. It's a place to be, and, and this yeah. is a, it's a long route, a yeah. long Cabot Street. So uh, there's I, a place for everybody. Can I also say that Beverly has the best dogs? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dog lover. There are dogs everywhere here. The dogs come yeah. to the parade. You this, think this dog is walking that lady. Yeah, there we go. See, because he wants to see this dog over here. Um, no, but they're really cool, and we have great a great dog city. I have a dog. Well, I, I, you know, and I'm happy for you. I, I think, I think that's a wonderful thing. I'm very happy for you, and so that's all good. <laughs> I think the, uh, the We're sirens starting are, to hear the yeah, sirens a little more loudly, so we're probably going to um, kind of quiet down once they come through. Exactly, we will. Uh, but I, th I think it's a good time to, to thank our sponsors once again. I agree. Um, if, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. Um, so we'd like to thank Temkin Financial Group, Beverly Bank, Salem 5, Minuteman Pressed, Institution for Savings, Michaud Mitsubishi, I'm sorry, Mitsubishi, Beverly Rotary Club, North Shore 104.9, First Baptist Church in Beverly, and Wayside Tra Travelers. Wayside Trailers. Trailers. Yep. Uh, I said that before. <laughs> which is owned by Don Kelly, who in of fact course. donates this flatbed every year to... to uh, uh, to the, we to the are. You, I mean, we. I wish we could show you guys at home a picture of this trailer, this flatbed trailer. It is incredible. <laughs> yeah, we could probably put about 100 people up here right now. It, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a big one. one. Yeah, it's a big one. So we're gonna we're gonna take you to the um, the the parade of the ambulances and fire trucks. Fire trucks coming right up. Yep. Yeah. So we'll be back with you in just a moment. Yeah. Thank you.
Put them on. Have, have Robert put them on. Okay. Okay, so here comes the old car club uh, oh, coming it's through. My these, favorite. I love yeah, it. Yeah, these I guys join us every year. They do a great job in some of the most beautiful cars uh, that you'll see. So they're, they're coming through right now. Tops, look at this. Tops oh, my time. gosh. Hi, guys. It's so great. It's so great. They are so I cool. I love these cars. Look at the Corvette. They are so cool. Nice vet. Nice Woo! vet. Nice job. That's so great. So there's a lot of them coming through. So awesome. pay attention to these cars. They're, they're really, they're really interesting. Oh, and some of them are throwing candy. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Up here, man. Oh, oh forget us. Up here. Hey, 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 up here, up here. <laughs> Bad throw. It's all right. You know, we <laughs> we want the candy too. You know, man. <laughs> no, he's going to give the proclamation to Charlie Bucci. Should be coming along any minute. Yeah. No, no, it's coming up. These cars are so just, beautiful. Just classic. Just and classic. you know, I have to tell you that um, I grew up in a classic car family. Really? My dad was a, a classic Jaguar enthusiast, ah. and he had many, many. I learned to drive on a, an old 1959 150. Wow. I know. Let me tell you, that clutch, <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I don't think I can push it down now. That'll get you in shape, yeah. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Only on one side, though. <laughs> T-Bird, wow. That's an old one. Purple. Look at this purple car. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. These people, some of these people spend I know. hours and hours. Oh and hours no, I know, I know. They're so into it. And, really and thank goodness somebody is, because I just enjoy it so much. Look at this oldie but a goodie here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, it's like oh that's the little red car I think is a Carmen Ghia. Is that a Carmen Ghia? Or uh, no, it's an old Porsche, maybe. Yeah, I don't I don't know. No, it's not a Carmen Ghia. Definitely not. I think it's an old Porsche. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Well, if you like classic cars, this is the print for you. Wow. That's for sure. There's a they bunch of them. They keep coming and coming. Yeah, I actually think there's more this year than there's been in the past few years. Yeah. yeah. I would definitely agree with that. Oh, cool. That. Oh my god, it's a truck. Wow. Wow. Oh, there's an, um, look at this one. Beautiful. Beautiful, yep. With white wall tires. Yep. Look at this bug. It's an old bug. <laughs> it's an Volkswagen old Beetle. Bug, yeah. Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> Powder blue. Love it. All right. Well, we're coming to the end of the old cars. Oh, he's waving. <laughs> so next will be the color guide. Color guide, yeah. And then the Bucci family float. All right. And then, huh? Oh. 
we're live. Oh. <laughs> so coming up shortly, you'll see the uh, the color guide. Okay, here comes the color guard, and we have our holiday parade sign. So this is really the official start to the parade. Exactly. They've been leading the parade, I think, I don't know how many years. These guys are a couple of Look ROTC guys from the high school. Incredible. Thanks, fellas. Thanks, Good guys. job. Thank you. Thank you. And behind them is the Essex County Sheriff Color Guard. Here they come, a little bit further behind. And following that, the uh, the Essex County Sheriff Color Guide will be the Bucci family float, yes. and then our Grand Marshal, Charlie Bucci. And a very special presentation. Wow, that's not it beautiful? It really, really uh, makes you feel patriotic, I think, to see these guys with the flags. That's the Beverly Fire Department. It is. Some of Beverly's best. Those guys. Color guard, yep. To do what they do every day is just amazing. Amazing. Just real hero. Hey, people clapping. Look at that. All these people yes, are clapping. That's clapping. awesome. Yep. Absolutely. Here comes the Sheriff Color Guard. Yep. And the truck is driven by Robert Amiro, Vice Division Commander of the United States Coast Guard. He wants to promote awareness of the paddlecraft safety courses and classes, as well as safety equipment. I always love it when the sheriff, when the sheriff comes by, yeah. and I don't know him. Yes. I, th I like that. You like that you know? <laughs> I do, because there's only one way to get to know the sheriff. And Is I, that right? And yeah. you don't want. You don't I don't want, want it to, to be that way. <laughs> he could, he could be a friend of yours, Al. Yeah, he could be a friend of mine. Yeah, he could be. You're right. You're right. Uh, but I, I get your point. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be on the wrong side of the law. And. And I never have been, so I don't want to. Here I don't we come. Here now. we go. Here we go. The Bucci family is coming up. Um, Charles Bucci will be in the first vehicle, and he is. Actually, he's going to oh, be in the he's, second. He'll be in the, the second, second vehicle. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, this is the family will be in the first vehicle, and um, this family has been part of this parade for almost the entire history of the parade. Uh, no, 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 no. Yep. For, for the entire history of the parade. Not almost. Really? This family has been involved with this parade. This will be the oh. 70th year. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't have that right. And, um, oh, that's right. Okay. Because the Grand Masters, the Grand Marshal's father was in it before him. I believe it was his father. We're not, and we're not saying right now what capacity, because we don't want to spoil exactly, it. Exactly. Exactly right. Yeah. They yeah. had yet a very important job that usually comes at the very end of the parade. Yeah. And right? the, 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 okay, the banner just went by. Yeah. And uh, now we're going to. Here comes gonna, the family. We're going we're gonna to watch the presentation from Mayor Cahill to our Grand Marshal this year, Charlie Bucci. That's right. Hi guys! It's the, Hi guys! The Bucci family band. <laughs> I want to be you when I grow Woo! up. <laughs> Here's the whole entire family. Bucci's lousy band. <laughs> Bucci's lousy band. Yeah. Play Freebird. <laughs> and here we have the Grand Marshal and the Mayor to present. That's good. Hey guys. Hi, how are you? Excellent. How about you? Awesome. You look great. Thank you. Well, you look better. I like your shirt. Well, thanks. <laughs> I got to read this to you. Please do. This is a proclamation for you and your family. Are uh, you ready, Charlie? For the past 70 years, Charles L. Bucci, his brother Paul, his son Charlie, his nephew Michael, have acted on behalf of the one true Santa Claus, residing in the North Pole to please all the children of Beverly. And whereas for the past 70 years, all your wives, daughters, sons, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, cousins, and grandchildren have actively and enthusiastically supported all of the aforementioned at all parades, tree lightings, and subsequent activities, 
Are all those Bucci's? Hey, uh, Every one of them. No, the there's, band, no, the there's, there's one impersonator, but he oh, loves God. the family, so it's okay. <laughs> Put the camera over there. That's incredible. All Bucci's. Come on over so, here, Bucci. And whereas the Bucci family have accepted the honor of bringing joy to the city of Beverly by spreading the spirit and magic of Christmas to its citizens every year, and whereas the Bucci family have valued the opportunity of building community by working together with the city of Beverly to establish and provide consistent participation in this historic event, and it's almost done here. <laughs> now, therefore, in recognition of the countless hours of bringing joy to the citizens of Beverly, young and old, I, Michael P. Cahill, mayor of the city of Beverly, do hereby proclaim the Bucci family of Beverly as the city of Beverly's, you ready? Official assistance to the North Pole. Excellent. Hey! <laughs> Michael, thank you. All, all the joy. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, the family, uh, my father started this a long time ago, and we've all participated. And it's a hell of a lot more than just the, uh, it, the, the, it's, uh, the people who help dress Santa. Who, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, a lot of people They're, involved. There are always a ton of people to thank. Thank you so, so much. Being the mayor of Beverly, oh, you're thank doing you. A hell of a job. I know you are. Thanks. I know you are. Oh, that was incredible. That was really awesome. I was very that moved was, by that. That was really I'm awesome. Very moved by that. Charlie Pucci, our Grand Marshal, was just presented with a proclamation from, as you know, from May Cahill. And uh, that's that's a first. I, I don't know that we've done I, that. I don't think we've done that before. I, and I, that yeah. was really moving. And that's a first. I think that was really special. Yep. And I, I'm assuming that that's Mrs. Bucci sitting in the front yeah, seat. Yeah, as Santa. I'm guessing, as and Santa. I know it's Don Kelly driving it. Oh yeah. So uh, so that nice, was just a, that was a nice wonderful car presentation. Too, nice car. Not a bad car. Not no. a bad car. No, no, not no. Not a bad car. No. And I think we're gonna hear some music from the Bucci's lousy band. <laughs> Boy, they're not kidding, are they? <laughs> yeah. No, that's a correct name. No, no, they're not kidding. <laughs> oh, they got some singers too. <laughs> All right, moving right along. They're gonna move through now. Thank you to the ROTC guys, thank you. Here he comes, the Grand Marshal himself. <laughs> Mr. Don Kelly, Hi. thank you for your participation. <laughs> Charlie, wave to us! Hey. <laughs> no! Naughty, naughty, <laughs> naughty. <laughs> He's been naughty. Oh. Now we have the Arbella Independent Color Guard coming up here. The Arbella Independent is a nonprofit, competitive performing arts organization serving students from middle school to college age in Beverly, Danvers, and even beyond the North Shore. Wow, how interesting. They're independent and they compete. Hi. Now we also have the Beverly Human Rights Committee. This is uh, Lauren Poussard here. What there they with are, the, the Beverly yep. Human Rights Committee. Yep. Hi. Hi, guys. Yeah. Um, it's a city-appointed board whose mission is to increase equal justice and inclusivity <laughs> in Beverly. And then nice. Miss Essex County, there she is. Mrs. Essex County, yeah. Mrs. Yep. Essex County. And we, uh, we want to introduce her a little yeah. bit if we can. She is Megan Shelton. And she lives in Newport with her family. Um, and she holds a master's degree in elementary education and taught first and second grade for over a decade. And the Essex County Junior King and Queen as well. Sue Gabriel's coming through right now holding the Bootstraps banner. Uh, wow. Sue is the executive director Beverly of Beverly Bootstraps. Bootstraps is such a wonderful an organization. organization. It's a community funded and supported nonprofit in Beverly that started as a food pantry in the basement of the First Baptist Church. They have grown to be one of the area's largest service providers to local families and individuals in need. And right behind them is the First Baptist Church with their famous mac and cheese float. And they're coming around to pick up 
uh, goods to donate to Beverly Beach How are you? Good. They have a long-standing tradition of walking in this parade. And here's Julie Flowers and right here from Julie the First Flowers. Baptist Church, Reverend of the First Baptist Church. And also our new counselor at large. That's right, starting Yay. in January. She'll be sworn in in January. Yes, yeah, exactly. that's incredible. The city will be lucky to have her. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's coming up now? Champ is oh. coming up. Champ School of Dance is coming up. Wow. One of the only dance schools on the North Shore. Been in operation for over 75 years. They've been around a long time. A long time. So here they come. Here they come now. Uh, here they go. <laughs> oh, got that. Yeah, we've got uh, the Beverly Salem Lodge of Elks coming up. Elks are celebrating their 150th anniversary as a national organization wow. this year. Wow. There are about 1,900 lodges across the country. Um, the, nationally, the Elks provides about $2.5 million in scholarships to graduating seniors every year. Wow. That's a big group. <laughs> Those elks are noisy. They are. They are noisy people. But that's what makes it so much fun. I know it is true. <laughs> How you doing, Joe? <laughs> oh yeah, wait. Oh. <laughs> oh, the bookmobile! Hi, right. how are you? Bookmobile's coming up right now, Beverly Public Library. Beverly Bookmobile has served the Beverly community for more than 40 years, has something for everyone. So, Beverly Bookmobile is here, and I'm very proud to say as a Beverly Rotarian that we uh, were one of the organizations that made this bookmobile happen, and I'm very, very proud of that. Uh, you should as, be. As all Rotarians Thank should be. Thank you very much. Thank you, Beverly Rotary. Speaking of which. Speaking of which, this is Maureen Truffrey, who is our current president this year, and Bill Beckman, a past president from the Beverly Rotary Club. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Beverly Rotary Club is a service organization made up of professional women and men who have share a common goal, and that goal is service above self. And this is followed by the Next Generation Children's Centers. Uh, is a leader in early childhood education, raising the bar for the early learning years located on Essex Street in Beverly. We thank them for their participation. Oh, the, the letter carriers are coming up. Oh, look, there's the eagle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing you're pretty warm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know, you know what they're doing, Al, the letter carriers? Yes, you know I do know what they're doing. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. It's kind of exciting. Yeah, they are. Keep in mind that uh, this is where you send your letters to Santa Claus, and the United States Postal Service does not require a stamp uh, on the letter to Santa. You can give them, give the, your, your postal server. Is that right? Uh, yeah, a letter, and he'll make sure, he or she will make sure it gets directly to Santa Claus. Wow, yep. all the way to the North Pole? All the way. For free? All the way. Pony Express right to the North Pole. <laughs> very yep. good. Yep. Very, very good. Very good. <clears throat> so at this point, I just so I also want to uh, remind yeah. everybody that the Beverly uh, Human Rights Committee is hosting a reception at the Cabot Cinema today at 3 o'clock. So for those of you that are interested in what the Human Rights Committee is doing, they're doing some really neat things. Yeah. Um, I'm really, so, really excited about that. Yeah, so if you want to learn more about human rights progress and activities, go to the Cabot today at 3 o'clock. By the way, if you haven't been to the Cabot, you got to go. 
Yeah. I've oh. been to several shows there now. Oh, and it is. It is. Really and they a have great, some great, place. great big names. Big names, big talent. So uh, I'm going to go I'm going to go see the Beatles tribute band yeah. and I'm going to see I think I'm going to go see Tower of Power. And I'm going to go see yeah. Blood Sweat and Tears coming up. Oh cool. Yeah, December 15th. Yeah. All right, yeah. so here comes the Salem 5 Bank. Salem 5 Bank founded in 1855. And they operate 30 branches in Greater Boston with assets in excess of $4 billion. Wow. Here they come. Salem 5, another sponsor we've, we've thanked yes, a couple of thank times. You, but thank every you year so, they yeah. help us out. I know. They're so great. They're, they're just so a wonderful great. sponsor. Wonderful they really band. give back. Yeah. They really give back. Right behind uh, the Salem 5 Bank is the Salem High School Marching Band. Salem High School is proud to support How an you? active and thriving music program with a variety of music courses and extracurricular activities. The band's director is Cynthia Naprakowski. I hope I'm saying that right. They're a really good band. <laughs> I love a marching band. They are so good. So good. So just enjoyable to watch so and many to listen to. young people. Yeah, I mean, it's all, I guess it's always good in today's day and age to see yeah. young kids doing the right things with their time. Yeah, exactly. Family promises, uh, you'll see the walkers uh, walking up and down the street for family, collecting money for Family Promise, which yeah. is a, a nonprofit organization that houses homeless families, people who are just trying to get back on their feet, and, and it's a wonderful organization. So if you happen to be down here or on your way down, throw a couple extra bucks in your pocket and, and, and donate to an organization as great as a Family Promise. And, oh, here we have Temkin Financial Group. I actually do a lot of business with that company. They are really They're good at really what they good. do. They are really, really good. Really good. Really yeah. good at what they do. Yeah. And thanks to the, Thank the ROTC people. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Here comes the Family Promise Group right now. They do such a phenomenal job. Russ Queen, job. executive Russ director. Russ Queen. Yeah, Duncan, for past president of the uh, of the organization, of the uh, board of directors. What a great, 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 great and thing they And there's uh, Sandra do. Earl, who is the current president of the board of directors of Family Promise. First parish church coming through right now. I think we have Revive Dance Exchange coming up. Yep. Coming up sh shortly. And the Saints Academy. Yeah, yeah. So the Revive Dance Exchange that's coming up is, uh, is in Beverly, the only North Shore dance studio whose mission is to empower everyone to get up and to dance. Wow. Yep. Oh, this is the Saints Academy flow coming up. Yep. St. Nick Express. Saints Academy, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? We're going to be seeing the Beverly High Fall, fall Play cast and crew 
Uh, and don't miss Beverly High School's fall play, Pride and Prejudice. Performances will be held at 7 o'clock on Thursday, November 31st, Friday, December 1st, Saturday, December 2nd, and then 2 o'clock on Sunday, December 3rd, at the Beverly High School Auditorium. This is the cheer. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, it's a panther. That was the youth cheerleading, I believe. It Beverly Youth Football and Cheer is a youth sports program that teaches children's grades one to eight the fundamentals of football and cheerleading. Well, I guess if I was on the right page, it might. Yeah, no, no, it's it's. I don't Got it. Oh, here comes the football, the football players. <laughs> Beverly Youth Football, yep. Yeah. Beverly Youth Football coming up, and the Beverly Youth Cheerleaders. That was uh, who just went by. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm on the on the same page now. <laughs> Woo! Look, they got a, They got a trophy. Love it! Love it! Love it! Love it. Woo! Go! Go football! Okay. Yep. Okay. Look at all these little football players. Look at them. Yeah, there's a lot of them, isn't there? Huh? I know. So much going on these days in the, with football. I love it. It's kind of good I to see it. these kids just having a good time. I love it. Woo! Another flatbed truck. Yay, sports! <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, here comes Beverly Children's, the Beverly Children's Learning Center. Learning Center. Learning Center is an early childhood education and care program serving children ages one month to 14 years in Beverly and surrounding communities. Provides exceptional education, care, and enrichment opportunities in a warm and nurturing school environment. That's lovely. So something to check out. Actually, this year marks 40 years in the Beverly community. Really lovely. So great, Here they great come. job. <laughs> great job. Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! ho. ho, ho, ho. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh yes. I uh, yes I am. Oh look how adorable! Absolutely adorable. So cute. It's a little close. <laughs> Happy holidays to you. Thank you. Thank you. And we want to thank XL Paving for providing the truck. That's amazing. Amazing. We've oh, I think we got the North Shore Dance Academy coming. Yep, I think you're right. Wow. Dancers from North Shore Dance Academy in Danvers, Massachusetts. Quality dance training in an environment that feels like home. Oh, and they're performing a little dance for us. Looks like we've got a little bit of a hiccup here going up Broadway with that big truck. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, looks like that guy made it work. Being a truck driver of a truck that size has to be a skillful thing to do. Here comes the dancers. I don't know if we can see this. Yeah, North Shore Dance Academy. Is that what's uh, coming up now? Yep. Very good. Nice job, kids. Nice job. After them is the Bass River Lodge of the, it says number 141 of the Independent. These marches belong to the family of Odd Fellowship, composed of men, women, and youth that believe that they can make a difference in the lives of people of our world. Isn't that nice? Oh, and following up. Okay is America's Miss National Queen Ambassador, Darlene Luff. 
here she is. Recently crowned America's Miss National Queen Ambassador. She is a host of a TV show on Beth Cam, you can be too, called Stand Strong. And behind her is Karen Shea, 13 years old and the reigning Miss Massachusetts Junior High School America. In a car driven by Misho Mitsubishi, uh -huh. who is a sponsor of this year's parade. Uh -huh. And Karen um, does a program called Brave, and it's an anti-bullying -bully platform that she uh, visits schools and youth groups to speak about this message. United States Coast Guard Auxiliary just went by oh. in, a, in, a, in a very nice truck with, yes. with a bunch of things we on the back there. We talked a little bit about that already. Yep. Now yep. this is really, really interesting, Al. Yeah, this is uh, this coming up. This is the uh, Glover's Regiment. Uh, did you know that the first naval base for the United States was right here at Beverly Harbor? In 1775, it was all quickly assembled. In July of 1776, Glover's Regiment was encamped in what's now Independence Park to defend that naval base. Wow. So that's uh, incredible history for the city of Beverly. Emergency support. Cub Scouts. Beverly Pack 4 Cub Scouts is chartered by the Second Congregational Church of Beverly. The church is home to both Pack 4 and Troop 4. Pack 4 currently has 54 scouts from grade kindergarten through the fifth grade. Wow. Welcome and thank you for participating. Oh, and Pack 49, wow. Yeah. Yeah, Pack 49 combined with Cub Scouts 2 and 4. Cub Scout Pack 49 has been active since 1954. Oh my gosh. Roughly 60 years of service. That's a long wow. time. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I would love to say it's, lo it's older than I've been on the planet, but I can't <laughs> say that anymore. Grandpa's treasures. Look at that. Grandpa's Woo! treasures. I love it. Being a grandpa, I love it too. <laughs> hey, hey. Brian to peace. No. <laughs> Thank you. Brian to peace who ran a nice campaign for Cultural Lodge this year. Yeah. You know, and I give anybody credit that steps up oh to attempt my. that. I mean, I don't know why they do I it. I know. I, would, I don't know if I could handle it. Uh, but know. Brian ran a nice campaign, did a good job, and it was nice that he stepped up. It really is. We've got uh, the Learning Zone coming up uh, with locations in Western Waltham, Woburn, Framingham, and Belmont. The Learning Zone has convenience centers, has convenience centers um, to fit the needs of working families. No matter which location or the age of the child, there's something in common with all learning zones, and that is they love children. That's nice. That's really nice. So now we have the Girl Scouts in Beverly. They have a lovely float here. Aren't they adorable? Oh my gosh. Yes, they are. So cute. Hi, Girl Scouts. Hello. One of those presents for me? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> and right behind the I love Girl it. Scouts. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Look at your badges. Oh, happy holidays to you. And now we have Beverly Youth Hockey going by. That's not great. We have a youth hockey here. Look, oh, there. Some of them are wearing their inline skates too. Institution for Savings is sponsoring this this part of the parade. Once again, a, a, yeah, a bank that our, has been involved so with us. Much. Yep. Thank yes. you for your sponsorship, Institution for Savings. Here comes more Beverly youth hockey hockey players. Here they come, Beverly Panthers. So we have youth cheer. We have youth football, and we have youth hockey. Okay. Hi, hockey. And it's boys and girls, boys and girls. Yep, the way it should be. Rocking around the <laughs> Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> so 
I think we've got the uh, the Upton family and friends. Is that what it is? Okay, yeah. And Give Me Live too. Yeah. Here's Give Me Live. At nine, Wallace. And that's GiveMeLive.com. G-I-M-F-E-Live.com. Coming up is the city officials, the elected officials. We've got, of course, the mayor, Jerry Paracella, Paul Guanci, president of the city council. Hey. <laughs> Joan Lovely, we've got Scott Hausman. <laughs> Good to and see you, buddy. Mayor, the mayor, hey guys. Paul Manza. Hey, how are you? Hi. Good to see you. <laughs> hey, Scott. <laughs> and now, the Beverly High School Marching Band. And a very, very special freshman trumpet player. <laughs> ah, who might who could that, that be? be? Who could that be? There he is. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? He's right there. Oh. <laughs> they are amazing. They are awesome. They are really good. Under the direction of Adam Costa. Really, really good. Nice job. Great job. There are over 250 students involved in the band program in middle and high school levels at, in Beverly. That's awesome. That is incredible. That is just awesome. Music is a big, big, big part. Oh, yep. wait. Wow. I think, wait, it got very quiet and... Yeah. Everybody's excited, why? It's very exciting. It's because we're here? Is it because we're here? I think it's because of us. Is that what it is? Yeah, I, I think know. so. I think so. Because of you. Because of, no, of you. Oh, there he is! Oh, here he it's comes! It's the big man himself, Santa Claus! Larry, Woo! out! Good job. Santa! Yeah. He's also... Yeah, Santa! Yeah, so much <laughs> no, forget no, it. Looks like did, he's going, they, they didn't he's going right by. <laughs> All right, and that... Happy holidays. No. I don't know. He left. He left. He's too busy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. He had, he had, he well, had strict instructions. We were, I don't know what happened. We were going to. Uh, Sorry. There were kids to wait. Hey. <laughs> huh? That's right. Well. Another one done. He's got so many presents to deliver. He's got so many kids to visit. He's got so many smiles to hand out. And so. Yeah, he's a busy boy. He's too busy. He's a busy he's boy. He's too busy for and, the likes of us. And I think so. I think so. There was supposed to be a presentation of the key to the city, uh, but. Somehow that kind of got missed in translation, and that's just fine. I think that's okay. I think what we're ready to do at this point is to wrap things up. Can I just say yeah. that this has been one of the best parades I've ever seen, and I've been taking my kids here for, you know, 17 years. Yeah, well, that's years. nice of you to say, and it was. It was a wonderful parade. Everybody seems to have had a great time. What the crowd is dispersing now. Yeah. One more shout out to our sponsors. sponsors. Uh, Temkin Financial Group, Beverly Bank. Salem 5, thank you so much, Minuteman Press, Institution for Savings, Michoud Mitsubishi, the Beverly Rotary Club, North Shores 104.9, First Baptist Church in Beverly, and Wayside Trailers, thank you again for giving us this beautiful trailer to sit on. And, and here we are wrapping things up. Once again, Once another for, year. The, for the 70th the annual 70th Beverly Holiday time. Parade. We will start preparing year 71 in a few months. So any of you that like would like to, to join our committee yeah. and be involved with us, just go right on the website and let us know. So That's at this point, I guess what I want to say is happy holidays to you and your family. Yeah, happy holidays to you and Thank yours. Thank you. And a very happy, a healthy, and a prosperous 2018. Goodbye. Thanks for joining.